we gotta do the show. <laughs> Only one of the Beach Boys actually surfed. Only one. My whole life is a lie. They said everybody's gone surfing. Only one of Only Dennis went surfing. <laughs> They're there. It's okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why, hello there. <laughs> there you go. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I'm Ryan. And I'm Johnny. And we have the microphone sandwiched comfortably between us. And we are back on our BS. And we are ready for episode 8. And we hope you are too. We got our new theme song going here. <laughs> Produced by yours truly. And we're ready to get started. So here we go. Alright. Going first over to news a lot as we typically do. We have our first story today. Local town very disappointing when compared to other locations in its state. A new study finds that the local town of Seabass seems to be severely lacking when compared to surrounding areas. The new study, conducted by the Society of Humans with Semi-Decent Standards, has found that many surrounding towns make the unbearable heat of our state worth it by having interesting attractions and plenty of things to do to keep people from losing their minds. However, Seabass seemed to be lacking in this department by only offering two activities for its residents, drinking, and fishing. A close examination of amenities in the area, such as restaurants and hotels, found that, besides the very smelly river, there were only two locations in all of sea bass that provided the fresh, clean, open, beachy type of atmosphere that you would expect from a state such as our own. One being a restaurant, and the other a hotel lobby that locals would rarely ever step foot in anyway. Even more peculiar is that people flock to sea bass, where was I? Deciding to move here by the dozens, tearing down what little bits of nature are left to build new homes, and displacing wildlife and locals alike by driving the price of housing through the roof, all to get a piece of what they inexplicably call paradise. The study also added that the town of Seabass has absolutely no mini golf courses, and noted that the amount of mini golf courses in a city is often a direct correlation to the quality of the city overall. Sounds like an awful town to be in. Yep. Awful town. Yep. Sounds like I would have crippling depression if I lived there. Yep. And over to Johnny for our next story of the day. Our next story today. The poodle. Cuddly. Innocent creature. Or ferocious killer. Our resident adventurer, Andino Exploricus, investigates... Over to you, Andino. Howdy there, folks. I'm Andino Explorer, because I'm supposed to be live on the scene right now, but I haven't left my house due to an unexpected development. Allow me to show you. I've just left my bedroom, and there's what appears to be a giant hamster in my living room. It's been sitting there staring, watching me all morning. I don't know what to do. I've taken to hiding behind this chair because hamsters hate mesh. It's a known fact that they can't see me behind this meshy material. Logic dictates he can't hear me either. This is very good because it's probably trying to listen to me. I knew I shouldn't have gotten into that suspicious gambling. I shouldn't have made those secret deals. I knew they'd do something like this. Now I have to sit here until he leaves. What's he going to do? He's not budging. He's not budging. Send help. Send in the militias. Send in the armed forces. I don't know where this hamster is from. He's probably Soviet. I bet he's one of those Soviet bastards. God help me. I'm not going to be able to leave this position. Please send help. Come help me, please. Please. Who hired that man? I told you that wasn't a good idea. Do you even think we're safe here? Oh, <laughs> hi, folks. Hi. Um, I think it's time for a commercial break now. Um, so I guess enjoy that, huh? Okay. What is going on with my hair? It's like a little indent up here. Do you see that? What is going on? <laughs> Oh my god, your hair! My hair! Your hair? Yes, my hair! What? This is very serious! Oh, look at me! I'm Ryan! I need five minutes to do my hair! You know what? I'll do it over the commercial break, thank you! <laughs> One of the biggest problems that we face in the South today is a lack of good taxidermists. But not anymore. I'm Bob. 
and you can come on down to Bob's Taxidermy to get some of the finest taxidermy work you've ever seen this side of the Mississippi, I reckon you. I can stuff your favorite dog, your prize winning hog, or a really cool looking frog. And I'll do it all with a free bag of chips thrown in, you bet you. Help me out by helping me fulfill my grandpappy's legacy. You kill him and we'll fill him with a smile on my face. Indeed. Welcome back, folks. We have a very special performance in store for you today. It's not Herschel Evans and his Canary Choir, but it's the next best thing. Here to promote his upcoming EP so that he's forced to finally finish it, I introduce to you Ryan Rafels performing his new unreleased song, Lost on You. came right back, you know you're not the only one here with a target on your back. Obviously I saw it coming, but remember what they said, if we couldn't keep dreaming we'd be better off dead. Inside there's all the dreams, you know that eventually they'll bubble up so that inside you might let out a scream. Is this really what I wanted? All there is to me! <laughs> Lovely wife, if every dish you made for dinner this week, you've had it twice. But it's what your mother wanted, so that means it must be best. So go sit down on your lanai and let me do the rest. I got you covered. Do it myself. I don't know what you were thinking. If that's what you want. Oh, 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 then forget it. It's lost on you. I don't think I have the patience, but I got a shot. you were thinking, if that's what you want, oh, 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 well then forget it, it's lost on you, I don't think I have the patience, but I got a shot, oh, 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 I mean, what else am I gonna do, I don't know what you were thinking, if that's what you want, oh, oh, oh. What about that Ryan, huh? I tell ya, boy. Yeah, he was pretty alright. I don't know why we can't get someone like Madonna on here. Anyway, whatever. Let's go to commercial. See ya. Ryan Rafel's epic, amazing show is brought to you by Crabs. Crabs be like... Crabs. Welcome back, cowboys. It's your favorite time. It's time for me and Johnny to compare our sticks. So are you ready? <laughs> Who do you want to go first? We've already got them both whipped out here, so... <laughs> so I guess just some observations right off the bat here. Mine is colorful. Um, it's not as big as Johnny's, but I mean, I think it's a manageable size. Um, it's pretty, it's not too thick. It's a nice thickness, I think it has to it. Um, yours, I can see it's pretty long. Wouldn't you say? that? That's a little bit long, I think. Uh, nah, I'd say it's average. Oh, I mean, I guess I've seen bigger, but... I mean, it's, you know... <laughs> I see it's got a little bit of a curve going to it there. Would you say you're like a right curve gang? or it's, like uh, a... It's very flexible, you know? You can, you can get in get in wherever you need to you know i think so that it's a really good flexibility yeah, i think yeah. you could apply that into many areas <laughs> yeah i think <laughs> many many areas many yes i mean it's it's, it's pretty like i think it's a, a little bit long in comparison to its thickness i mean i think it's a little bit you could say um i don't know what the word is um it's pretty stick thin i think <laughs> i mean i've definitely 
you know, seen thicker ones. But, <laughs> but I mean, what do you think of mine? Uh, well, you know, without hurting your feelings, uh, I'd say it's subpar. Subpar? What? What do you mean? I mean, it's great. Well, of course, you would think it's great. <laughs> Listen, I've had many people tell me that it was the perfect size. <laughs> and who are these people, may I ask? <laughs> Colleagues, friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Listen, look, we can't all have a mile-long tube over there. <laughs> I mean, gosh. What are you going to do? I mean, that's like, you know, short people are like just as tall as that thing. What are you going to do with that? Hey, listen, man. Don't judge it. Don't knock it before you try it. I mean, I'll try anything once, but like, gosh, I mean, that's that's got to be like taking a beating, I think. <laughs> a sexual beating? No, a normal one, you perv. What? <laughs> what? 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 Gosh, what's wrong with you? Uh, I don't know. Don't make me beat you with my stick. Because <laughs> I'll do it. I'll slap uh, you right across the face with it. Sorry, bro. Um, I don't think it's hard enough for that. Hey! It's got a good thickness. It's not like yours that's bending and flopping all around over there. <laughs> well, I mean, I can get in places you can't, that's for sure. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Whatever you want to say, but I mean... I think it gets, like, right where it needs to go, I think. It doesn't need to be going anywhere as long as it's getting right where you want it. Right where you want it? <laughs> right where both consenting people in any given stick-related project would want it. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, you clearly think, you know, to each their own. I guess we're going to put our sticks away for right now. Um, but... <laughs> Or you can keep it out, fine, just keep it, just flail it all around, why don't you? Just give me a minute. Show it to the whole world. Everyone wants to, you all want to see Johnny stick, don't you? <laughs> Alright, well, with that, I hope you enjoyed getting to see our sticks. Um, we enjoyed showing them to you, I think. Um, that was a good time had by all, I hope. Yes, yes. Um, maybe I should have asked if you wanted to see them first. No. I, but. It's probably fine, right? I think it's okay. Alright, well with that, folks, I hope you're having a nice time scrolling YouTube today, and thank you for stopping in. Enjoy yourself out there, truly. Scroll away. Um, be sure to check out my links that I'm going to pop in the description, because it's too much work to type them on the screen. And uh, remember that empires always fall after 200 to 250 years. And with that, um... Yeah, bye. Later, losers. <laughs>